Well, if you got a dollar, I'm just lousy down. You know that I got rhythm that could suit your budget fine. You can... I hit pay dirt this week with a great collection of menus that I'm adding to my personal vintage and antique cruise line menu collection. So none of these are for sale, but uh, these are getting into some of the older menus that I like to collect, and I thought it'd be fun to showcase what I have picked up. This is actually the most recent menu that I picked up, and it is from 1938. So it's from the Hamburg America line. Uh, it is their luncheon menu. Now what I do like to pick up in menus is something that actually does have the ship line on it, the name, as well as something that indicates it's a menu, the word menu or something that indicates what meal is being served. Uh, this one is again from 1938. So it was on board the Hamburg, uh, June of 1938. And the menu itself is written in both German and English. So you have Polish style salad. No idea what that is. I uh, also don't know what a Mongol soup is. We can pass on the fried calves liver, potted beef steak, maybe. Uh, we, got, we got pastry, always good to end with a pastry. So this is in pretty good condition. I loved the uh, illustration on the front of it. Uh, nothing really going on the back. I uh, guess some printing information, but this is um, a nice little addition that'll frame up nicely. Uh, not a lot of color, um, but again, I like the art and it does have the ideal ship name and the fact it is a menu. So I picked up three menus from 1935. Uh, none of them were particularly ideal in the sense of what I like to collect, but I like the art on all of these. So this one at least had Cunard and it did say the White Star line, which not all of them do. So I did like the fact that I picked that up. It doesn't say menu on it, but I know it's a menu. The reason I like it to say menu is otherwise this could just be looked like a brochure or something for the cruise line. This one shows that it's part of a dinner, but it doesn't actually show the name of the cruise line. And this one doesn't show either, but check out that art. So the Cunard's uh, White Star line again, it's from 1935. I'm not sure what this is from. I don't understand how this would have been mounted. Maybe they mounted it by the inside cover because there is some, um, there's a poem written on the back. There are not many girls like Miss Denny. She eats endlessly bacon and eggs and has exquisite pull pullable legs, okay? Oh, I wish I were a fish. I could rise to such heights during water rites. During watery nights? Okay, well, maybe they wanted to showcase that. So I guess they could have glued it on the back of this to showcase this, and then this would have been open. Not ideal, but not horrible. Uh, so again, October 1st, 1935, this was from the RMS Majestic from the Cunard White Star line. And then these two actually turned out to be from the same line, which I did not know because this one says Landfall Dinner. It has a place for autographs. There's nothing on the back. And it says the name of the ship, the SS Orama in 1935. But there's nothing on here that actually says what the cruise line is. So, uh, you know, I picked it up anyway, because how cool is this uh, artwork? Well, it turns out this cockatoo, which I also desperately needed, uh, it turns out this is part of a series from the Orient line. Okay, cool. So we know it's from the Orient line. Well, guess what? The Orient line, this is also from the SS Orama. Same year, a couple months earlier. So the SS Orama evidently did different styles of menus and the Orient line didn't necessarily care to advertise themselves. So I'm glad that I found these together. It saved me the research to figure out what the SS or Rama is. But uh, some nice collection and additions from 1935. This next piece from 1933 actually showcases one of the little sub categories of the collection that I really, really like and I'm always trying to add to it. Uh, it's It does show the menu on the front. It does have the uh, name of the ship. It does have the year on it, 1933, from the date of the sailing. The front of it does not mention this, the uh, ship line, 
But what makes this subcategory something that I like is it is a mailer. So you've got this great artwork on the back that it's the president liners that serve the world. So that is the uh, president liners. They're all named for presidents from the dollar steamship lines. And what this is, is a postcard which separates from the rest of the menu. So you could have torn off the postcard or cut off the postcard and used that to mail to your friends and you still would have had a memento for the uh, ship. So this is the SS Lincoln, because again, it's the president lines, uh, shows who the commander was. Again, it doesn't name the ship on the front. So from that perspective, not ideal, but it's clearly a menu. And I just love uh, when they're fully intact, uh, you've got the entire postcard menu here. And even the back, that artwork is pretty cool in and of itself from the dollar steamship lines. And just like the cockatoo, sometimes they're picked up specifically for the art. And can you imagine just going into the dining room and this is sitting on your plate? I mean, it's just like a little work of art in and of itself, this watercolor from the Cunard line. So this one is, again, getting older. This is from 1928. This is from the RMS Samaria. And it, again, has some great uh, menu items on here. All, yeah, all written in English. And this one doesn't say where this one sailed, so I could always, uh, yeah, I could always look into that. But it even has some cool artwork on the back, little lighthouse uh, kind of buoy lighthouse on the back of it. It's a cool little piece. Loved that artwork. And it does say the cruise ship line. It doesn't say White Star. Like I said, a lot of them don't. Uh, it just doesn't say menu, but could not pass up the artwork on this one. Now this one, it's shocking that it's from 1922 because look at the great colors on this one. Uh, but it is from Sunday, June 18th, 1922. It again has the menu. This one even has some artwork on the sides promoting the Pacific Steamship Company, um, the Admiral line from the SSHF Alexander. Now, again, this falls into one of those subcategories that I'm trying to collect because this one's not technically a postcard. It's actually an entire self mailer. So you've got the Admiral line anywhere on the Pacific and you fold this whole thing up and it becomes a mailing post, a mailing postcard that would be, you know, you could send to people to make them jealous that you're on the ship. It's an absolutely fantastic condition, some absolutely fantastic artwork considering all of this dates back to 1922. I have another one similar to this, um, but I couldn't pass it up because it's in great condition and it's just a beautiful piece. Check out the artwork on this one. Now, it does have the sh ship line on it, but I would have bought this even if it didn't because it's absolutely a fantastic uh, image. It's got uh, the globe. It's got the uh, Nordischer Lloyd logo is on um, the lady's uh, uh, outfit. I don't know if that's supposed to be Britannia or whatever that would be. I guess it's German, so whatever the German equivalent would be. It is now going to be the oldest menu in my collection because this one is from January 1901. So it's from the SS Bern and again has a menu in both German and in English. It's got these great, check out the illustrations at the top, just absolutely exquisite uh, line illustrations that were done as well with the menu. Unfortunately, this one again was glued into a scrapbook. So the concert program from the back, even though the artwork at the top of that is still kind of cool, uh, unfortunately, most of that has been lost from being glued into a scrapbook, but I do not care because what's in great condition is the front and uh, this will definitely take pride of place in my collection. So now I get to the process of trying to fill my frame. So one of the things that I you need to do, at least with the cheap frames that I have, I just have little poster frames, you need to put this uh, anti-slip on the back or like in between the, the menus and the backing because it will, when you go to flip it, when you go to flip the whole thing upright, the if it's not gripped by something, all the menus will fall out of position. So i uh, going to put it, some of the menus that I just showed, but I also realized that I'm also going to be incorporating some menus that I have not didn't show in this current video or may never have shown at all. This is the smallest menu I have. 
This is from the Furness Bermuda line. Just check out the artwork on this one. So QTEV, Queen of Bermuda. I don't even know what QTEV stands for. I guess there's still things I need to learn. This is also 1937. Pretty much most of the menus that I have are all going to be pre-World War II. That's kind of the era I'm focusing on. I did do a deep dive with Sam from Dining at Sea, and he said 1952 was the year in which air travel and cruise travel, or air travel uh, overtook cruise travel for transatlantic. So that's kind of the cutting edge or cutting off point for popularity. I just find the older ones are more interesting. So 1937, so I'm adding that uh, into the frame. This one I believe I've shown before uh, because it actually was a gift from Sam of Dining at Sea for having him on my show. Absolutely fantastic, gorgeous, beautiful artwork. So again, doesn't even matter that the cruise line and the uh, fact that the menu is not on there. But this is another, uh, this is the SS President Cleveland. And this one is going just outside of the target area, but still prior to 1952. This one's from 1948. Um, so just a great piece from the American President line, which I remember is one of his uh, favorite lines. And if they do artwork like this, I can understand why. Admittedly, this one kind of is a mystery to me. It's the only one that I know or that I have that's kind of like a panel like this where it folds in on itself. So it's pretty cool. It's the SS President Cleveland. So we've got, um, you know, a theme going here. This is 1928. It's kind of designed, I mean, not even kind of, it is designed to be a mailer because it has a place for a message and you can say, you know, what you're on, what ship you're on board to and where you're en route to. It has the information on the bottom for the dollar steamship line, but it, it, it's too big to be a postcard. So I, maybe if you folded it again and there is a crease in it, somebody did do that. So maybe if you fold it again, it would go into a standard size envelope. Uh, so this one's just a little bit different, not quite the postcard, but again, the artwork is absolutely fantastic and will look great in the frame. Holland America has some great art uh, through the decades. And this is, uh, again, a pre-World War II. This one is from 1939. But they did a series of these, which all had some sort of a dining theme. So this is a repast of the 18th century. They had different eras. And this, I just thought, was one of the cooler uh, illustrations. I have a couple others from this series. Uh, but this is the only one that's going to get framed from this Holland America line collection. So here's another uh, self mailer. Just again, check out the fantastic artwork on this one from the Admiral line. Uh, this one is from uh, 1929. So there's this little insert kind of like an early post-it note that was attached to the inside of this one. And this one, again, even has some great art on the back. You know, the little, almost like the pinup girl fighting for her or the hat ribbon. I don't know what exactly she's pulling away from the pelican, but, um, and then the kind of like a little promotion for the Pacific Steamship Company. So this one appears to just be completely folded. You would have folded it again. And then you can see there's a little, a flap to seal it down and mail the entire menu. So just kind of a great little souvenir that's still all intact and is that artwork again, is just gonna look great framed. When Sam was on my channel, he actually showed this menu and ever since he showed it, I was on the hunt for one because it's one of the few die cut shaped menus that I've got. This one's in the shape of uh, the banana. So even though it's from 1948, so outside my ideal uh, timeline, I don't care because it's from the United Fruit Company. And again, I have some others from them, not die cut, but they always have some cool art. And they just, you know, they, they kind of knew that these would be things that people would take with them. They were designed as ephemera to, you know, they weren't going to last because they would only use them on the one cruise you know it says right there it's sunday october 24th 1948 this menu literally was never going to be printed again now this one at least the insert 
is what would get redone each time. So the outside cover theoretically, I guess, could get reused. But, you know, these would be great souvenir pieces that people came would bring back as a memento of their cruise. And this one is going to look fantastic in a frame. If you follow my channel at all, you're not going to be surprised that this is something I was attracted to. Uh, just this whole idea of doing a menu with a display of decorative objects, uh, including pewter, porcelain, it, that's right up my alley. It's got the corbels and pilasters drawn in. I mean, this is just fantastic. They did this design actually for a while because this one is dated 1940. I have another one dated 1950 that has a different collection of objects at the top. Uh, so they they kept this style around for a while, but it's just a great piece. It's a little bit larger format, uh, which I tend not to get too many of these because they they take up so much space in a frame. But this one is beautiful. I love the coloring on it. Uh, that has definitely got to get into this uh, frame that I'm working on now. I don't have many like special event ones. Like sometimes there's Christmas ones. Sometimes they're you know just holidays. This one is dated 1937, and it says it's a Coronation Naval, Royal Naval Review. So this would have been for George VI, and I guess it was uh, dated, again, May 19th. This must have been the date that he was actually uh, crowned. I uh, haven't done my research on that one. What I also like about this, you can see easier from the back, it's actually embossed. So this one, because this, again, would have been done for as a special occasion, this probably would not have been recreated any other time. They put a little bit of extra work into having this one done. And uh, it's simple art, but I love the globe on it. And since these go into my travel-themed room, I thought this was a great addition to the frame. And with some movie magic and editing, we have the finished product. I'll be honest, when I flipped this on the side the first time, it didn't go as well. A couple pieces from the middle had slipped, so I had to put some extra padding in the back, pulled out some bubble wrap. I recognize that all of the materials in the back are not necessarily acid-free. You know, I'm not a frequent buyer from the Gaylord catalog. I uh, highly uh, suggest their archival materials, though. But for the short term, for my personal collection, I am not a museum. I like the way it looks. Uh, you know, probably would have been better not to cover up the name of that ship, but kind of still like the artwork on it. Uh, a couple things did kind of slip. Um, that's going to bother me. It's crooked. But <laughs> at some point, I actually feel winded from trying to put this together. So... It is what it is, and, uh, you know, I think it's a great way to showcase part of the collection, and we'll see how I handle other parts of the collection. So, welcome home, my new menu friends, and uh, we shall see when I show more. So, thanks so much for joining me uh, in the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you've uh, stayed this long, I hope you subscribe to my channel. And in any case, even if you don't, I appreciate your time, and appreciate you putting your trust in Trusty Huckster. Talk to you again soon. Bye. Well, show me a sign if you're wishing me to stay. Otherwise, I say goodbye and finish out the day. And that sunrise in the morning and you got nothing to say. Oh, that's when I'll be headed on my way.